Aloha my friends, Christina here and I am so happy to be back in a new video with you today to share with you what I am currently growing here on my fruit orchard in Hawaii. I'm going to be giving you a property tour today with a bunch of little updates. I asked you all on my Instagram what you wanted to see from me and many of you said that you just wanted me to walk around the property and share with you what I'm growing and what I'm eating. For those of you who have been following my journey, you might know that a little over four years ago I moved to Hawaii and I have been spending and dedicating much of my time to restoring an organic fruit orchard. And since then I have planted more than 700 fruit trees. Yes, you heard that correctly, I have planted more than 700 fruit trees and more than 91 different varieties of fruits here on the property. Not too long ago, I uploaded a property transformation video and I showed you the befores and afters of the orchard. It's such a cool video. So for those of you who want to see and learn how I have restored nitrogen into the soil, all the steps I took to do every single detail the right way in terms of uh, curating this organic orchard, please go check out that video. I've linked it below for you in the description and you get to witness me planting some of these 700 organic fruit trees. Since the orchard has now been established, I'm currently in what I like to call maintenance and growth mode. So in today's video, you'll get to see the progress of the orchard and the growth of the trees, and I show you some pretty cool things that are growing. Before I walk you around the property, I have some very big and exciting news to share with you, and it is that I have just partnered with True Leaf Market to bring you my own sprouting kit set. If you have watched any of my previous gardening videos, sprouting videos, or even microgreen videos, then you've seen me using these seeds right here. True Leaf Market and I have partnered together to bring you the absolute best curated list of fully raw sprouting seeds. You don't have to have your own garden to start growing your own foods. You can start growing your own sprouts and microgreens on your countertops. Sprouts and microgreens are loaded with so many good nutrients and they are protein rich as well. You can use these colorful organic sprouting seeds for any healthy meal. This selection is perfect for beginners and seasoned sprouters interested in trying out new varieties. The kit includes a 96 page full color sprouting guide and a mason jar sprouting lid. I've hand selected all of the seeds in this kit, so whether you're looking to start growing your own sprouts or microgreens at home, or whether you're even ready to start growing your own garden, True Leaf Market is the best place to get organic and non-GMO seeds. I hope that you love these sprouting seeds and I hope that it inspires you to start growing your own food at home. We've only made a limited amount of these fully raw organic sprouting kit sets for you, so I hope that you stock up and enjoy them. Please check out the link in the description below and go grab your sprouting kit sets. I've included a special promotional code on the screen for you as well so you can get a discount on these sets. I hope you are as excited about the sprouting kit set as I am. Please go check out that link below and enjoy. All that being said, it is time for our tour. Come with me. Almost there. This one has a lot of water. It's really heavy. Oh my goodness. So these are Samoan coconuts. And these three palms were actually on the property when I moved in. But I've planted 42 more Samoan coconut palms. And these three palms probably yield, I want to say anywhere from six to 10 coconuts a month. And I have so many coconuts. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool because I'm able to drink my own fresh coconut water whenever I want. And lately I've been harvesting the meat within the coconuts and I've been making my own coconut probiotic yogurt. I've been making my own raw vegan coconut crackers and more. I've been using the meat in salad dressings. Uh, 
And my next experiment is I'm going to try making my own raw vegan coconut ice cream. So I've been getting creative with these coconuts. <laughs> this probably weighs, I wanna say eight pounds. It's pretty heavy, uh, but they're coconuts. <laughs> flowers so I planted this pink lemon tree uh, about a year and a half ago and it already has one two three I see four baby pink lemons on it oh five and you can see the flowers are so pretty these pink flowers blossoms that are coming out oh I've got a little moth on my hand you can see how pretty these look and they're growing just a year and a half in, almost two years. <laughs> and look at these flowers. So this is, oh, it just popped right off. <laughs> this is a Tahitian lime. Oh, there's a cute little beetle. A Tahitian lime tree, and you can see these beautiful, fragrant flowers. They smell so sweet. They kind of smell like gardenias. And this tree is really happy as well. This is called a Hong Kong orchid tree and it's probably my favorite flowering tree and I absolutely have become obsessed with these trees because you can see these gorgeous pink flowers are so abundant and they're edible. So you can use these flowers in your salads or edible art and they pretty much bloom, I want to say, between November to March, but they can bloom all year round as well. And I just, I'm just obsessed with orchids in general. So the fact that you've got orchid flowers on a tree, these are, these are my favorite. I love these. And also they're great bee pollinators as well. So we're standing on perennial peanut grass right now. And many of you know that it took me a year and a half to hand plant all of this grass on the property. And what's special about this grass is that it is a nitrogen building grass that you don't have to mow. And it has these beautiful flowers that come up and these are also edible. So if you think about it, it's nitrogen building, nitrogen fixing edible grass that you never have to mow. I'm a big fan of perennial peanut. It's a pretty sweet flower. So I'm standing in front of my Lilikoi wall or my Lilikoi fence. You can see here behind me that I have planted multiple Lilikoi vines here, Jamaican Lilikoi, that are flowering right now. And the flowers are absolutely gorgeous. I think they look like <laughs> insane aliens. There's something out of this world. They're just so gorgeous. And the fruit is so delicious as well. When you crack it open, you eat the seeds. It's so sweet, it's so jelly-like, and you can make teas out of it and so much more. And also, Lilikoi flowers are amazing bee pollinators as well. You can see many different bees at work here. And you can see a bunch of the little fruits that are tucked into all of these vines here. And actually, this part of the fence is very abundant and full. And I've just started planting that side of the fence, which will fill in very soon as well. I also have Lilikoi vines all over my water well that I showed you in a previous video. And I'll show you the fruit as we pick them. This whole side of the fence is actually not ripe yet. So these are baby fruits, but I'll show you some ripe fruits in just a second. Want me to cut one open? <laughs> this is kind of how you open them. Ready? Yum.
Many of you already know that I've been growing lots of papayas. I planted more than 40 papaya trees or papaya palms on the property and I've harvested so many papayas, it's unreal. Uh, you can see that many of these are abundant and ripe. These are just some of the more abundant ones I wanted to show you. It's so fun to have papayas growing. Since I've shown you these before, we'll keep it moving, but I couldn't not show you what they've been up to lately. Hi, Chunky. Oh, wait, hey, 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 hey. Oh. So I'm standing here in what I like to call banana row. As you can see, I have a row of bananas planted all from here all the way to the end of that curve over there. And I have approximately six different types of bananas that I've planted here. I'm standing in front of some apple bananas. I have Pisang Awak. I've got burro bananas, Cuban reds, ice cream bananas, Thai bananas. Uh, I've been collecting different varieties that I'm trying to grow here and it's really exciting because you can see I'm in front of this palm that has a full penca. I call them pencas, my dad and I call them pencas here at the top. And each one of these from the next four all have almost ripe heads of bananas. And so every single month I've been harvesting one or two of these and <laughs> We've been going bananas. I've had lots of bananas. I use them in my smoothies every day. I give them to my neighbors and I freeze them to use in my smoothie bowls every single day. And it's so cool because I'm literally eating the bananas that I'm growing every single day. This is my water well and I also planted a bunch of lilikoi all over this water well. You can see these new incredible flowers, these Lilikoi flowers. They're so beautiful. I'm obsessed with these. And underneath here, we've got lots and lots of ripe Lilikois just dripping off of these vines everywhere. I mean, there's Lilikoi all over. <laughs> so much Lilikoi. It's really fun to put on top of watermelon and to make teas with Lilikoi heaven. So also on this side of the property, I've planted a bunch of my tropical varieties and that also includes avocados. I've planted approximately 13 different varieties of avocados that can be harvested throughout the year. And what's special about this side of the property is that the trees that are behind me, this avocado tree and the other five that are right here, I grew all from seed and I propagated them from my friend David Wolf's property at Noni Land and the seeds that I propagated have grown four times as fast as the other trees and I think I might be getting my first avocados as early as, I don't know, <laughs> this coming spring but I'm very excited. I grew this from seed and you wouldn't believe that this tree behind me is just right over two years old. How crazy is that from seed? That one, this one, that one, all grown from seed. Giant avocados. Giant avocados. If you remember in previous videos, this used to be dirt behind me. Can you believe it? Do you remember just in April, of this past year, I was planting all of these trees. And now look, they're all babies and some of them are three, four, five feet tall. This is the orchard in progress and it's growing beautifully. So just here around me, I've got avocados, as I just mentioned, longan, lychee. We've got so many different types of citrus on this side. 
uh, rambutan. We've got white sapote, rollinia, mame, jackfruit, durian. I could go on and on and on and on, but let me take you to the mangoes. All this rain has been good for them. Right here, I've also planted three different varieties of figs. Now, figs are not common in Hawaii, but I am actually trying to grow them to see what, <laughs> how they will do. I'm showing this to you so you can see that I'm experimenting as well with some things that may or may not do good. And also, yeah, we'll just see how they do. <laughs> These are blackberry jam bushes, and I have about six of them. So here we are at the end of the property where I have planted 42 mango trees, many different types of varieties. Too many to name here, but I'll tell you my favorites are the Raposa mangoes and the Manzanilla mangoes and the Namdak Mai. So I'm very excited about that. You can see all 42 trees that have been planted right here and I'm so excited for these to grow. Some of them are growing a little faster than others, but the truth is, is I have probably about five to seven years of maintenance and waiting on these. So my goal is going to be to continue to keep the soil rich so that these can grow big and strong and produce the best fruit. So from a different perspective, when you're standing far away, <laughs> these trees look really tiny or on camera, when I'm showing you these trees, they might look really small. But as you can see, when I'm standing next to them, they're just as tall as me. So when I planted these, they were probably about my knee height. So we're talking about this much growth in a year, year and a half for some of these and I would like to think that that's pretty good. But yes, so this is a Kent mango. It's pretty big and I'm very, very, very excited about my mango trees. People are always asking me about the roosters and chickens here and I just wanna say that all of the roosters and chickens that are roaming my property are free. <laughs> if you've ever been to Hawaii, then you know that there are chickens and roosters everywhere. I did not purchase them, I don't, consider them to be my own. I don't cage them. I don't, I don't do anything with them. They're just naturally free roaming and I welcome them. Sometimes I will give them my compost because, you know, they're naturally eating and fertilizing, you know, some of the plants around here and the soil and the peanut grass. So I just let them live freely and I like to think that we're friends. And lastly, I just want to show you my citrus trees. I know for some of you citrus might not be that exciting, but I get so excited about my citrus and I've planted approximately 60 to 70 citrus trees, all of different varieties. I'm standing in front of a Cara Cara navel orange. I've also got Washington navels, Valencias, Tangelos, Tangerines. I've got limes, lemons, Meyer lemons, pink lemons. You name it, I have tried to plant as many different citrus varieties as possible because I love drinking freshly squeezed citrus juices and I love using lemons and limes in all my salad dressings. So I think that having citrus is a staple and 16 of these trees came with the property. Uh, so you can see that they're super full and there's lots of citrus already abundant here. And because there's so many different varieties, I get to pick citrus throughout the year. I'm never without, which is amazing. I hope many of you have liked this mini property tour. I haven't even covered half of what's growing here. I've only just shown you a tiny, tiny bit. So if you guys have liked what I've shown you today, please let me know in the comments what you'd like to see more of. If you appreciate me showing you these kinds of things, I think growing your own food is so important, especially in today's age. And I think that educating on plant powered food is even more important and will become more important as we move into the future. So thank you all so much. I hope you all have loved this property tour. If you have, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because there is only more goodness to come. If you haven't already, please go grab your fully raw sprouting kit set using the link in the description below and start growing your own food. 
please go check out the link in the description below along with the promotional code and stock up on your organic and non-GMO seeds. I'm so excited about this collab and I hope you are too. If you're looking for raw vegan recipes, you can download my raw vegan recipe app. It's available on iTunes and Google Play. There are more than 450 raw vegan recipes on my app waiting for you to enjoy. And those links are also included in the description below for you. Thank you so much again for joining me on this property tour today. I can't wait to share with you more updates in the future. Thank you all again, sending you my hugs and my love, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.